Hey man, how are y'all? I can never understand how niggas still broke. Rack City, this LA, if you know, you know. Like, who we tripping on? Blower in the chief and coke. I'm from the stink team, you know, that's why this bitch chose. Niggas talking like they joints, but I can't tell. Like the baddest bitch in town. The trick is to not get a speeding ticket today. That's my goal. Mama found my whole arsenal of weapons. Oh, man. So soon? I didn't think the hoonage would begin for a while. Why is that so fun? Yo, what is up, guys? Today, we are on a nice long day trip with the CBR 650 uh, alongside a couple of other bikes. I think all up just under four hours, maybe like three hours and 40 minutes, and I've already done an hour. So first up, we're riding from Long Worry to Nearham South. These roads look promising so far, but as with any back road in the mountains with a higher speed limit, you've just got potholes, debris, animals. You're better off not risking it. It's a difficult thing to do when you're with the fellas and there's an R1 leading the group. It's so nice when you've got a good crew to ride with. It makes such a big difference. I made a goal last year to start riding for the sake of riding as opposed to just getting from A to B, you know, commuting to work, commuting to dancing, uh, and I've stuck to it. I'm doing a lot more of it, and let me tell you, it does the trick. If you want to reignite your passion for riding, this is how you go about it. Just find some mates, head out into the back roads, go explore the country, and ride together. It's a magnificent feeling. Oh my god, highway patrol. That's so lame, man. <laughs> We're gonna be stuck behind them the whole way. Although my last encounter with them was quite pleasant, contrary to uh, what they're usually like. Mate, it's a hundred. You can't go this slow, otherwise it's more suspicious. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. <laughs> At least going slow means we can really enjoy the scenery and the roads. And there is a lot to enjoy here. Look at that. It is stunning. It is actually beautiful out here. I can't believe I've never ridden these roads. It's not a bad gig as Highway Patrol uh, get, if you get to just drive these roads every day. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. I'm having so much fun. Honestly, these roads don't really seem like the type where you can uh, really juice it anyway. They're really tight, windy, narrow, and there's a lot of foliage around, lots of trees. And that's ignoring the highway patrol officer that's currently leading the group. Give it a rev. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, f me. Well, that's on me for being the YouTuber of the group. I thought we'd stopped to get some food, so I took apart my entire mic assembly, turned my camera off, did all that crap. But it was actually just to wait for that highway patrol cruiser who ended up turning around and stopping someone else. So the boys were like, let's get back to it ASAP. And I'm like, Fuck. I just took everything apart. Then I have to put it all back together. Leg two, near them south to Yarra Junction. Let's go. The roads have been stunning so far. And the speed limits, I'm not complaining about those. My only problem is, even though the speed limits out here are very generous, the surface of the road and the quality of the, of the environment, unfortunately, is not. So it's quite difficult to do 100 out here. But the fact that you legally can is very nice. Would you just look at that? Oh, quick shift to baby! <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, a little bit disappointed that we've been stuck behind Highway Patrol, then a Nissan crossover, and now a caravan. Oh, my knees are starting to feel it, man. Surprisingly, my wrist and my back aren't doing too bad at all. I got home, I'd spent just under four hours in the saddle of the CBR650R. To my surprise, it wasn't terrible. I genuinely thought I would begin to hate it after an hour or two, but that did not happen. This bike has aftermarket clip-ons installed which make it even uncomfier. But with regular rest breaks, the four hours weren't actually too terrible, uh, and I feel like if I was on a longer day trip, uh, I could have kept going. 
So some things to note, despite the lowered clip-ons and the more aggressive seating position, it wasn't actually my wrists and my back that ended up copying most of the pain at the end of the day. It was my knees, which, you know, is surprising. Uh, and the seat on the CBR650R looks super big and comfy, but uh, honestly, it's just as bad as the Ninja 400s. After about an hour, uh, it really begins to hurt. And there you have it, a massive success of a day. Partly because of the bike, and partly because of the group I was with. The CBR650R handled the distance well and it is a very fun bike to ride. And the group I went with consisted of some fantastic people who I can't wait to ride with again. If you guys can, go find some like-minded people who uh, have a similar riding style to you and are willing to get out there and just spend time on two wheels. It makes such a big difference, not just to the immediate rides you go on, but to your motorcycling journey as a whole. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already, I will catch you on the next one. You say you've got them guns, but I've never seen you bang. You say you've got them drugs, but I've never seen you slang.